Yeah, that's 100 shit today. But no less. I'm sick of it. I've been dealing with so much bullshit. Y'all ain't even understanding. I'm telling you. And this motherfucking retrograde didn't do nothing but bring all this shit back to the forefront and got me looking at motherfuckers real side eye right now. Motherfucker, you know what you thought you had you won. Motherfucker, you the what? You really thought you motherfucker what? You thought you had you won. You better go to them motherfucking kids. You better run that shit to them motherfucking girls that ain't got nothing that got the roll with that. You know what I'm saying? You got to roll that shit to motherfuckers that can't do no better right now. That's trying to get on. You know? And I say that respectfully. Because I'm going to tell you right now. Just like I told my girlfriend the other day. I said, Mama, look, check this out. You are beautiful. I already know. I done had two or three of the motherfuckers say the same thing. I ain't shit. This, 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 this. He going to say all that shit to you. He ain't doing nothing but talking about how the fuck he really feel about his own motherfucking self. And he's afraid. That if you really see who you what, who you really are and shit, you know, fuck what everybody is saying about your Instagram, okay? But you internally, because I know how you feeling, you know what I mean? I, you know, I, I'm your coldest motherfucking nigga. I'm your coldest ally, nigga. We super friends, you know? So I keep telling you, this motherfucker right here is saying all this shit right here because he's afraid. He know all these motherfucking niggas want you. And a lot of these niggas got, has got coined out the game. Them niggas is all hedgehogs. You hit them motherfuckers, Sonic the Hedgehog, nigga, you hit them motherfuckers, there's gonna be so many coins jumping off them motherfuckers. And he knows that. He knows that. So then therefore, guess what? He talking and talking to you and making you feel like you all this right here and this right here, this right here. So then therefore, you can't even see these niggas above his motherfucking head. You, he talking so low behind you and in front of your face and talking you so motherfucking low so you can't see what's over his motherfucking head and what's all this right here. You know what I'm saying? It's control. Auntie done been there. Auntie done been there. I done been talked to you. Know, I'm saying a whole lot right now. Okay? I'm saying a whole lot right now. I'm saying a whole lot right now. But, one more again, though. It's a lot of women that's going through my same circumstances. I was just talking to one. Okay? And it's just the fact that I made it on this end. I'm not all the way fully out of it yet because you see it's still riddling me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm giving it the voice. I'm releasing this. So this is what I receive and this is what I believe. What I believe in my heart is a heart that I'm not calling this into my life. I'm releasing it from it. Okay? So this is what I believe in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Every word that I'm speaking today is merely blowing this shit out of my life. Pushing it out. Pushing it behind me so then therefore I can reach my final destinations. Where I can stay on path and go towards this light that I see. That is what I believe. And that is what I receive. So, uh, at, at any rate, girls, keep y'all motherfucking head up. Just as I told my girl that I keep, keep your motherfucking head up, call me any motherfucking time. Okay? Call me any motherfucking time. You need to. You know? Too bad we don't live in the same state. You know? But she just reached out to me because she watched my videos and whatnot. And then I was like, when she told me her name and, you know, her Instagram... And I was like, oh, my God, for real? Hey, girl, hey, you know. And she just adored my spirit. Just like Mr. Malibu. Mr. Malibu is a motherfucker, you know. But it's like just from seeing my motherfucking videos and shit, you know, a motherfucker just reached out like, excuse me. You know what I mean? And I've had some really, really powerful connections on this platform and abroad. And the people that I have met in my life, man, I am so fucking grateful. Even for the trolls. Because they had no room for them in, in, in heaven or or in hell. So they put them motherfuckers, you know, between the two. Of them. They, them motherfuckers is under bridges. They have nowhere to go. So then therefore, it's like, okay, I have to embrace the good things and the bad, except the part that I played in it and what made this come upon in my life. I have to accept that. And in the midst of it all, I had to come to the generalization I've been there. That no longer serves me. I'm not there anymore. I've grown and I'm not her. That is some shit that I have been before. Yes, I take ownership of that. But it has no authority on my life and where in which I'm trying to go. So on that note, girls, look, we're going to stay in this fight. Because a lot of us is going through this thing. A lot of us right now. A 
lot of us are going through this thing right now. And a lot of us are trying to find our way. And if that means that I have to be the, the poster child and take the this, this, this as I've been taking it, y'all just never knew. I'll take all of that shit to be able to be a voice for you guys to hurry up and figure out what you need to do. I don't want to so much say hurry up because you have to do it in your own speed and time. But for you to find your way before it's too late, before this motherfucker take you out or take you completely under. Because there is no up on a lot of that kind of shit. It really is not. And sometimes you have to cut shit abruptly. Sometimes you have to allow them motherfuckers to tell you, I'm done with you. Because a lot of times, it's like I was telling her, when you're dealing with a narcissist, if them motherfuckers ever tell you that they're done with you, I gave up on you, I'm done with you, I'm this and this with you, and I'm this and this and this and this and this, that is your escape to go. When they tell you that, cut your losses at that point in time. Because the near and then at that point in time, let them have that. Because the near four, anything after that now, they it's just going to feed momentum. And now for the motherfuckers to come and try to hurt you in some type of way, way shape, or form. Or try to do you some type of do-lo or get back in your head or all those other types of things. And if you if you no longer want to do that fight, then therefore you just got to let it go. You just got to let it go. And it hurts like a motherfucker because I've had to let that go a few times in my life. And it hurts like a motherfucker because it's like, okay, well, God, if I let go of this, what's this? But the thing is, you can't control everything. You can't, you can't, you can't, because God said for you to trust him, right? If he's saying for you to trust him, then therefore you got to relinquish that control, Tina. Tina, you got to relinquish that control and not worry about what God has set next for you. And worry about the fact that you're right now on continue to take care of your motherfucking kids and all this and get this harvest pulled. How about that one? Huh? Get this harvest and shit pulled. Motherfucker, I ain't got to go down to the candy shop no more. I'm done with that shit, nigga. My shit is ready. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'm good. Let me just work in my element right now. Work in my motherfucking soils. Keep my chakras and shit balanced. You know what I'm saying? And stay the fuck out the way. That's what's happening on me right now. And continue to help move my... Excuse me, move my girls forward or give you reason to believe that you can. That's it and that's all. I love you girls. I love you guys for watching. And for my fellas, stop giving these women a hard-ass goddamn time. You understand what I'm saying? Because women that's in prison, they in prison because a lot of them motherfuckers straight snapped. Okay? A lot of them motherfuckers was like, you know what? You done done some shit to me too motherfucking long and I can't take it no more. And I just fucking snapped. It's bitches snapped too. Please understand and know that shit. Okay? There's a lot of motherfuckers is in prison right the fuck now with full kids and all that shit. Motherfuckers had good ass jobs and all that shit, but them motherfuckers snapped. So you can be out here if you want to and be fucking with these women emotions and shit. You know? And see, that's one thing I'm so glad that, oh my God, I am no longer worried about what if a motherfucker gonna be faithful to me or not anymore. Oh my God, I let that go. Oh my God, that was one of the best things I had to let that go. Because the thing is, it don't have nothing to do with you. I know I'm about, I was supposed to cut this off, but this is just on my medulla. I'm gotta, I gotta let it out right now and just say, you know what, girls, do not ever concern yourself with a motherfucker being faithful to you.